Hey there, teddy bear. How's it going, sugar muffin? What's up, ketchup? Hey, it's IC Creator videos that no one has ever asked for. Today, I am going to talk about the journals that I'm currently using. So this video can give you some ideas on what you can use your notebooks for and give you some creative inspiration. This video is actually inspired by my fellow design team members, Sarah of SJ Florals, Dano of Dano's Bujo, Jess of Jashi Corin, and Erica of Craftinated because they keep a lot of notebooks. I forget who, the most that the one of them has is 17. <laughs> And I have six. I just use one on a daily basis and the rest is like whenever I feel like it. <laughs> so before becoming a member of the design team at Archer and Olive, I originally only had one journal at a time. Uh, I cannot think English. Ever since being gifted so many journals, I need to use them. So now I'm going from using just one journal to using multiple journals and here are the notebooks that I'm currently using. So first of all, let's talk about my current bullet journal, which is a square dot grid journal from Archer and Olive. So what I like about Archer and Olive journals is that they have really, really pretty designs. And not only that, the pages in the journal are 160 GSM thick, so you can use a lot of art medium, paint pens, brush pens, and even watercolor. Just depends on the amount of water that you put. I'll just show you the monthly themes that I have had in my bullet journal. So I like using my bullet journal as a creative way to express myself and also organizing self-reflection, self-awareness things. So this is the journal that I use on a daily basis. So the next notebooks I don't really use on an everyday basis. So this is a journal pouch from Mojuri. Thank you for gifting this to me. I'm also a Mojuri affiliate and you can use my discount code IC10 for any of your Mojuri goodies. They have cute sling bags, larger bags for more stuff. They have kids stuff and most importantly they have journal pouches which I will show you. So I got the daisy one because I love daisies. So on the outside you'll see that there's a pouch here where I keep my pen and my little correcting thing that I probably stole from my sister. Not that she uses it. Oh, let's open it. And inside the journal pouch, there are two journal booklets. And you can buy little journal books in the future when you've used up the journal. So size-wise, I feel like this is more like B6. So this is a B6 Archer and Olive notebook. I love how compact, functional, and aesthetic it is. So this is where I keep track on my content ideas for Instagram and on YouTube. And in between the two notebook sleeves, you've got a plastic sleeve here where you can put stuff like stickers or stationery. This is openable. Next to that is this plastic sleeve that has compartments. I guess you can put business cards here or... I actually don't know. <laughs> But I think that the functionality are amazing for people who are on the go. If I was a university student, I would totally use it. And you've got two pen holders here. My pens are apparently too fat to fit in here. I just put them in here, which is cool because this pouch is full of compartments anyway. So I'll just close it like that and carry it like this. Like. So the next two notebooks are actually two of the smallest notebooks that I have ever used in my life. I've only ever used A5 notebooks for my bullet journals, but I thought, oh, hey, maybe Let's do one for reading and one for Duolingo. This little cute basic. You'd think that I would need a big notebook for my reading journal, but nope. I kept track on the books that I read through the Goodreads app, but I thought maybe let's keep them in something tangible because every time I read a book, I find like a really nice quote and then I just take a picture of it and then it gets lost like on Google Photos and then I'd never see it again. So let's look through my reading journal. So initially I didn't know what to do with it exactly and I didn't have a set template for book reviews and then being part of the Archer and Olive community on Facebook and on Instagram I see a lot of people who keep reading journals and they put so much effort into it and I'm like let's do this. So that is what I'm going to try. Let me show you a flip through.
So I honestly don't do trackers. I tried tracking stuff, but it just made me feel stressed out for some reason. I don't know why. So that's another thing about bullet journaling. Some things work for you, some things don't. And that is actually okay because people use their journals differently. So anyway, I thought of doing a reading tracker and I got this idea from Vera Bujo and I designated a color for every book that I am going to read. So I base it on the cover of the books and then I would just highlight the days of the year that I've read with the specific color of the book that I am reading. And I think it's gonna be like a fun year because there's gonna be a lot of colors. And these are pages of some of the reviews. So I feel very intimidated by keeping a reading journal because I don't know if I can keep up with it but at the same time this will encourage me to keep track on my favorite book quotes and the memories and the feelings that I've felt while reading books. This is my Duolingo journal. To be honest, everything here is still in pencil. I feel very intimidated by finalizing everything with pen. So I decided to use my traveler size notebook for that because no reason at all. So I am currently learning Korean on Duolingo. It's just funny how you get like a reminder every day to keep up your streak. Keep Duo happy by doing practice today. Time to learn Korean. Like my reading journal, I feel very intimidated and overwhelmed sometimes because I feel like I have to always write stuff in here when I can just like keep track on the Duolingo app. But writing things down just makes me remember the, the symbols better. It took me a while to get used to all of the characters but because I've been practicing a lot, I can say there's an improvement in my Korean. I probably will not be able to understand a Korean film without subtitles but I'm getting there. So last but not least, I've got these two gorgeous B5 notebooks from Archer and Olive. My head to scale. Lettering is something that I have always wanted to do. As with anything creative, you need to practice. And I thought, hey, maybe I'd use these two notebooks. So one with white pages and one with black pages. So it's exciting to play around with different colored paper and at the same time practicing my lettering. I just have to warn you that there are a lot of F-bombs in my hand lettering practice books. So those are some of my hand lettering pieces. And speaking of hand lettering, I am also a Nico Nang affiliate. Nico Nang is a hand letter artist who is based in the Philippines and he has an amazing hand lettering community on Facebook and I encourage you guys to look for it and join because it's just an amazing atmosphere conducive to learning hand lettering and he has a lot of products that can help you kickstart and improve your lettering journey like for example the composition ruler. So this baby has a lot of different shapes in them where you can fit your words and your letters and build nice composition and apart from that I also got the lettering creator kit it basically gives you ideas on what to create it has flashcards with quotes and composition guides aside from the flashcards you also have tiny cards that have letters of different lettering styles and you can play around with these different lettering styles and combine them and see which work well together and it also has a pad with the composition guide you can do your work here it also has a weekly content planner so if you're planning on using your your hand lettering as your content you can use this as a guide on what to post throughout the week and apart from that he also has a lot of digital books on hand lettering and lettering composition so make sure to check that out and as a Nikon affiliate I also have a discount code which you can use it's IC10 and use that for a discount on your goodies and, and having said that I get a commission every time my code is used so thank you for all of your support fam so I am an Archer and Olive affiliate please feel free to use my discount code IC Studio 10 on your Archer and Olive goodies. I get a commission every time my code is used, so thank you for the support, fam. So, yeah, thank you for watching this video. If you've gotten this far, you deserve a fist bump. What about you? How many journals do you use? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.